How's it going guys? Today I want to go over Amazon's most frequently asked question according to Leak Code as of February 20th, 2019. This is a super important question to know. Uh, by the end of this video it'll be super clear so if you guys have an interview coming up with Amazon I definitely recommend sticking around. All right guys, today we're going over K, closest points to origin. And again, this is Amazon's most commonly asked question on leak code. If you guys haven't, I would definitely suggest checking out Keith largest element in an array. Uh, I'll put a card up over here, or over here, but essentially this is a very, very similar question. And that's a Google question that's being asked right now. Anyways, this says we have a list of points on the plane, find the K closest points on the origin. Uh, here the distance between two points on a plane is a Euclidean distance and you may return the answer in any order The answer is guaranteed to be unique. So if we have example one here for given points 1 3 negative 2 2 And K is 1 meaning find the first closest point we return negative 2 negative 2 Okay, so we definitely want a data structure to store things uh, as close as possible to us and so this is going to sound a little counterintuitive But I think the way we're going to do this is we're going to use a max heap Okay, and so we're gonna use a max heap and we're gonna make sure that our heap is always of size K or at most K. And so every single time we add something to the heap and it's greater than K, we're just gonna remove the next thing in the heap. And so what that'll do is it'll take the maximum or the largest or furthest point from the origin and it's gonna kick it out. So awesome, so that's how we're gonna do this. So we're actually going to create a heap keeping it at most of size K, and we're gonna organize our heap by the uh, largest distance away from the origin. So then once we basically inserted all of our points, removing anything from the root of the heap every time it gets greater than K, when our loop terminates, we will basically have the K smallest points or K closest points to the origin. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna have a priority queue, and it's gonna hold uh, integer arrays, we're gonna call this max heap equals new priority queue. Whoops. And we're gonna write a comparator here. We're gonna say A comma B meaning two points, okay? And so now this is like where the math kinda of comes in, but we're basically just calculating the Euclidean distance, so don't worry too much about this. So we're gonna say B0 times uh, B0, my goodness, plus B1 times B1. And now we're gonna say minus A0 times A0 plus A1 times A1. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw all of our points in the heap. So we're gonna say for every point in our points. Whoops. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? Nice, Kevin, nice. Uh, what is happening? Okay, so what we're gonna say is for all our points in our points, for every point in our points, we're going to add it to the heap. So we're gonna say max heap dot add point. And now we're gonna do our check, right? So if max heap dot size is greater than K, then we need to remove something, right? And so we're gonna remove from the heap, we're gonna remove from the root. So we're actually moving, removing the point that is the furthest away right now. So we'll say max heap dot remove. Cool, and so now once this loop terminates, we will actually have our K closest points. So we're gonna define a variable for our return, uh, to return to the function. So we're gonna say int result equals new int, and we want K things, they're all two elements. And now we're just gonna say, while K minus minus is greater than zero, we still have elements to pick from our heap. So we're gonna say result of k minus minus, or just k because the loop will take care of it, equals max heap dot remove. Sorry, I really cannot type today. Uh, and now we can just return our result. If I could type. So hopefully this makes sense, hopefully this works. And it looks like it does. So guys, this is how to solve k closest points to origin. I hope this is helpful. It's Amazon's most frequently asked question. If you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. If you guys have anything I could do to help you guys, again, let me know. I'd be happy to help. And I'll see you guys next time.